DSP quick tips. This segment, we are going to dive into a very simple feature on the new Moscone software that is available to you. This is going to be on the Pro 830. However, this will work on the 610. It will work on the new 8 to 12 aerospace. So let's picture this image right here in our heads. We ran into this the other day, which is kind of what led to this. And that was, we got done with the car. It sounded great. It was very impactful. However, once the customer got their hands on, he started playing some music that had a little bit more impact than what we were playing. And what happened was, is the mid bass were starting to be over driven. The volume was fine. It wasn't like they were not able to handle the volume. They were, but the bass that was getting passed through them because of the extra bass in the soundtrack at high volumes was causing us some issues. Only on select songs and it was one of those, yeah, crank it up. Now there's a couple things we can do to fix this. Like we can go back in and re it or we could lower the volume. Basically everything that it will change the intensity of the music. We don't want to lose that volume. However, we also, when we crank it up, don't want them to hate themselves and blow. What to do, what to do. There is a solution for that in this software. First thing we need to do is come over to the left-hand side here where it says basic mode and click on it. Now what you're gonna see right here in this section where it said gain will quickly change to this cool little gray box. If we click on it, that is gonna pull up this tab here. This is our de-equalization section as well as pre-equalization, pre-time alignment, meaning that if one of the factory speakers has a delay, we can add the delay to the other side so they line back up. But one of the things it'll do is it'll take and add in a dynamic feature. And right here it says dynamic in EQ. We wanna click on measured. It's gonna look at the voltage that's coming in and as the voltage goes up, it's going to slowly implement our new feature that we've decided to add. We don't wanna lose any volume. A high pass crossover change is the ticket. Right now, we have them crossed over at 80, which at high volumes is getting a little too intense. We'll come over here to the filter high volume in, and it says flat right now, click on it, come down to where it says high pass crossover. Now there's a couple things we can do. We can add a high pass crossover, a low pass crossover. We can add a high shelf, a low shelf. Like we might just want to do a low shelf where we just rail down the intensity. But in this case, a high pass crossover is a much simpler fix. Whatever our crossover is set to, so if we're using a 12 dB Butterworth, leave it at that. If we're using a Linkwitz 24, then we want to change this to match. And then come down to here where it says the frequency. If we have it at 80, we're going to switch this to 120. Enter. Make sure we go right below it and we do the left speaker so we have both speakers done and that is it that is all you have to do now what will happen as you turn the volume up it'll automatically change that crossover point on a sliding scale from 80 to 120 and then back down again at normal listening levels you have all that luscious impact but at high volume protect those speakers and this has been the quick tip from Moscone hope you guys enjoyed it